Mr. Luck Show. I'm Georgie Courage Cole, and joining me on the sofa today is Laura Barak. And I am also thrilled to be joined by beauty guru, journalist, and guest panellist, Ria Cartwright. Hello. We've been talking about this for a while, so it is lovely to have you with us. Today, we're going to be sharing our favourite shows you can watch on BBC iPlayer. There is loads of great stuff on there. Plus, our favourite face masks and the new Instagram accounts we're loving right now. Rini McDonald, founder of London-based fashion label Lisu, is here to talk us through her stunning 2020 summer pieces. Trust me, this is a brand you need on your radar. And Laura and I will also be showing you some of the best shoes for summer, from trainers to smart flats to sandals. We've got you covered. Plus, Hannah Martin is back, showing you her top tips for applying mascara. Gara, but talking of beauty, beauty guru over there, how lovely <laughs> to have you. Lovely to be here. We're talking masks. We're in lockdown. We're all masking. Sounds aren't open. There are no facials yet. There are no haircuts yet. Um, and masking is, is like booming, right? Masking has become a very big thing. Like mask sales are up. Yeah, it's become literally like the slice of self-care you can do in your bathroom for five minutes or overnight if you're like a lazy girl beauty a bit like me basically yeah. um, Laura's just saying who's got 15 minutes to sit there with a mask yeah. I did and one the other night and I was like come on <laughs> I think it's worse when like you can't like if it's clay and you can't move or like mm. a sheet mask and you're literally like I can't do anything because mm. it's going to just flop off yeah I love the idea but then I'm like well that's 15 minutes I could have been Doing, doing something, something else. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Anyway, you've got two products got that two. are slightly lazier masking. We have. So we've got, first of all, an acid. Um, I love acids. People are always very scared when they hear the word acid. Um, so just enzymatic, gently nibble away like Pac-Man, all the dead skin. I've bought a lactic acid because I think this is a really great starter acid because it's also hydrating. So I always think about Cleopatra bathing in a bath of milk. Milk is really, um, you know, has a very high lactic acid content and it just nibbles away, but it's still hydrating. You look disgusted. Well, I hate, <laughs> I, I hate milk. I remember as a child being forced to drink it when I went to a sleepover. But anyway, remember Cleopatra in her bar. Exactly, and exactly. that you start with a lactic. That's a great tip. Yeah, because... and also, you know, as well with the concentration. So this is a 10%. But and the number can often go to like maximum like a 20 for stuff that you can buy from, you know, your shop. But it's not a race to get to the high number. So if you stick with the 5% and you get great results, just stick there. Don't so start feel... low, start with lactic. Exactly. Build and then it build up. it up or just stay where you are. It's not it's not a marathon. Just stay where you are and just enjoy the results. What I like about this one is it's a liquid mask and you just you leave it on. Um, if you want to, if you've got super sensitive skin, you can take it off after 10 to 15 minutes. So with me, my skin can take anything. I could use this like three times a week and sleep in it. If you had a thinner skin or a bit more sensitive, I would just um, leave it on 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it off. And okay. the glow after this, I think a lactic... What, if I'm going to glow like you, yeah. girl, I am getting myself <laughs> some yeah, of that. Yeah, it's very good. Also British based, so you know I love a bit of Oskia. We do um, too. Great, great ingredients. And then... After, I always like to do after exfoliation, and I, I like to just flood skin with hydration. So this is an overnight mask from Elemental Herbology. Another great brand. Yeah, I feel like as well, Elemental are really underrated. Yes. Like a few years ago, they were everywhere and now they're a bit quieter, but they're massive in like spas and salons Yeah, I was going to say, very spa -ing. Yeah, exactly. So it smells divine. An overnight mask, again, is just really lazy. Um, you just put it on and wake up with great skin. But also, I think this time of year, we're seeing lots of things about, you know, oil-free and really light. But actually, when you've been in the sun, and we have had a bit of sunshine over here, or if you're going away, I think it's nice to, again, inject the skin back with moisture. Um, with this as well, I think if you are, if you are lucky to be traveling soon, getting on a flight, this is a great thing to put in your carry-on because it's so hydrating, especially if you're going long haul, slather it on and you won't have that dry, tight skin. You know, when you get to the destination, you're like, oh. Love it. Mm. So, love, love it, these that. two. Great tips. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, two really great brands. Laura, what have you got, us, got for us? You've got a one 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 one, 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 one skin. skin. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a de-puffing mask, and I was actually given this, and it's been sitting in my bathroom for quite a while. And the other night, I thought, you know what? I don't know why I always like to save these things for a, a, 
a situation where I think I really, really need it. <laughs> I don't know when that is. Anyway, I went for it the other night and it was so lovely. I was a bit twitchy because I couldn't move. So I was a bit like, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. But the next day... You can tell. Yeah, I could really tell. It was really... I felt like I'd indulged myself. Nice. And it's 20 know. quid. Is that for one or do you get a pack? For one. Yeah, so mm, it was a save treat. it for when you really Edson need to deep up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then you've got an Elemis Pro Collagen. Oh, I mean, I just love this range. I... I talk about it all the time. I just think it's wonderful and it is so good for my skin. And yeah. their overnight matrix, I just put it on. It, they say you can use it for 10 minutes or overnight. I put it on sometimes as just like instead of a moisturizer at night. Yeah, yeah. And just you just feel like you, I don't know, a bit, bit more hydrated mm -hmm. the next morning, a bit more plump. Okay. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all for it. Well, I, I slightly took a different... Um, turn shall we say i went for a foot mask i was going to talk about sarah chapman's skin Physis sheet mask which i think is oh, one I of the yeah best i've talked about it before but mm. so good anyway foot mask patchology you can get these from a few brands you boot there's a brand another brand you can get in boots but these are the ones where you put them on your feet for like 10 15 minutes and then shed shed <laughs> does it it's pretty gross so is it like a sock yeah, it's like a it, it's it's like a sock, and you leave it on. I think this one is ten, fifty. I mean, I've done one of them. I can't remember. This is one treatment. Anyway, you put it you put it on. You leave your feet up ten fifteen minutes, and then over the next few days, you shed. Yeah. So if you feel like you're in need of a pedi and you want a DIY treatment, over the yourself. next few days. Yes. Oh yeah, they're oh, in. No, that's the other brand. Anyway, okay. they are. So you need to do it when you're not going to get your feet out. Yeah, but, but we need to get our feet out. We need to get them tip top. So get yourself one of these. It, yeah. It's quite gross. Someone told me about them years ago. I was like, they really <laughs> shed. Oh, probably shed. Yeah, fascinating. Anyway, foot, no, that's the other one. Um, so that's me. We're going to talk about iPlayer. Now, I don't think BBC iPlayer gets enough love. We're all Netflixing mm -hmm. and Disneying and Amazoning and blah, blah, blah. There are some killer shows. Can I just also just shout out? that they have series one to five of Absolutely Fabulous. I back saw. on <laughs> iPlayer. I mean, I was back in the day that just, I mean. How I dated know. does it look? I'm sort of scared to watch it. Oh, so good though. <laughs> so good. Best bit is when she gets in the car in France and they're so pissed and she forgets that it's a different side drive and she's like, Pat's, Pat, someone's stolen the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just love those two. They are the best. So get onto iPlayer. Ria, what are your favourites? Well, I've got an illegal pick. She with has normal, got an illegal with, pick. With, with normal pick. people. <laughs> normal people, I just was obsessed with it. Oh, so good. And it was like so uncomfortable at times, you know, like the relationship, which kind of reminded me of a relationship. Yeah. And I was like, this is like a car crash, but I'm loving it. Oh, and I didn't even know amazing. it was a book, you know, before. I just saw people keep speaking about it. Um, so I loved that. But Luther... Luther. I mean, anything with Idris, I'm kind of oh, all over. Him. Like, yeah. it could be the news and I would just watch it. I love um, him, but I've never watched I've Luther. never watched You've never watched Luther? Yeah. Oh, guys, please. Yeah, guys, I've got for Idris over here, so I don't it's know why It's amazing. It's okay. amazing. Okay. And you've got, like, five seasons. Yeah. So when we say that Rhea broke the rules, that is because we said there's loads of old stuff on that. And during lockdown, <laughs> I put on my Instagram that there were two really good old things. One... Um, which I'll come to in a minute because I'm butting in, but I'm just explaining. And people were like, oh my God, can you tell me, can you tell me all the sort of old things mm. that you've watched? And then we went on to iPlayer and we were like, oh my God, there's like all the lines of duty and yes. all the so, yeah. good. Anyway, so it's not just the new stuff we're talking about, which is why you break the rules. Sorry. <laughs> decided that normal people is that good. It deserved extra love. Yeah. Laura. Well, one of mine is also slightly breaking the rules because it was The Nest which was excellent also, yeah a new I've one of that. Oh. brilliant during lockdown that right, was okay. like yeah <laughs> weekend plans about so, surrogate oh and wow okay yeah so she struggled a wealthy couple struggled to have a baby and they found this young girl who was it was like their last shot at having a baby it was so emotional wasn't it it is yeah, right, it's, really good. Problems. it's really good <laughs> it was really good so the nest what are your others you've got three uh, line of duty anti-corruption right up yeah, my street that. absolutely oh. brilliant if you haven't watched it i really urge you i'm not to up to date it. but i like it oh, a lot is that the five, guy five, in nine of duty who's the policeman yes the exactly in the, in the nest, exactly um, <laughs> and, the and then one. dr foster so good oh i like that so good no i just think the script is 
Uh, the things they say, you just wouldn't say, and it annoyed me. I wanted to have been the sub-editor on that script, <laughs> or the editor or something. <laughs> I, oh, I thought it was very good. That, but First series, better. Yes, mm. agreed. I, I watched it, I watched it. That's also on um, uh, Netflix now. So my three were The Clique, or Clique, anyone watch that? No, well, what? yes, someone's nodding. It was good, wasn't it? Yes, so good. Two series. <laughs> it's about students at Edinburgh University who are all interning for a business that turns out to be really corrupt. It's really good. I also went to university in Edinburgh, so I loved it. <laughs> anyway, check that out. Um, something called, it was called Le Disparu. It's now called The Disappearance. You could have worked that out, but they have <laughs> changed it. They have changed the name. Anyway, it's in French and it's some sort of bourgeois French family and their daughter disappears after a music festival. It is damn, damn, damn good. I don't tend to love a subtitle. Yeah, it's got that actor in it. I can't think of his name, but he's, he's brilliant, isn't he? It is so good. And then my final was The Honourable Woman with Maggie um, Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal, how do you say her name? Did anyone watch that? No. No. What? <laughs> Sorry. Epic. We've got some catching Epic. up to yeah. <laughs> nodding. Our show manager's nodding. It was so good, and it was about terrorism, and, oh, uh, she's amazing. Gyllenhaal, is that how you say mm, her name? Yeah. Yeah, anyway, excellent, excellent. Check it out. We wrote an article on the site today, and there's like 20-something shows, old shows. Amazing. You mm. can, oh, no, people's not in there, but oh, you can watch them. It. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's got its own separate feature. Yeah, it has. <laughs> um, we're going to finish today talking about sharing some new Instagram accounts that we're following. Our Instagram usage has rocketed in lockdown. Mm. Um, Ria, who have you started following lately? We haven't got masses of time. But can so you... I found a girl literally like two days ago uh, called Femme Black, at Femme Black. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's like a Swedish-based Ethiopian star blogger. And I just love how she dresses. Um, it's kind of brands that we don't often have over here. But I just like, she just looks cool and kind of quirky. She does. She, I agree. Yeah. And then another one, and I don't know how to pronounce this. It's like loads of dashes, CV, loads of dashes. Um, and their account is just really nice picnics and picnic Ooh. spreads. And makes oh. me think I want to just go outside and have a I great spread, that. basically. Yeah, That's it's so kind of like. I was not expecting you yeah, to yeah. Yeah. Really. No, it's love like that. picnics and like beds, and it kind of makes you want to go on a holiday oh, or just gorgeous. go to like your park or the heath or something and just try and do it yourself, which might be the summer of 2020. Yeah. So, Picnicking. like inspo. Mm. <laughs> Good. Thank you. I'm going to check that one out. Uh, Laura, who are yours? So, mine were quite opposite ends of the spectrum. So, first of all, I had Florence Bruno Bruce, who's um, she does ceramics, and I just get so sucked in by watching somebody on the wheel mm. producing. Oh, she's just, it's just gorgeous. It, it, and she I lives in the Bahamas so and she puts them in the sea, and oh, I just nice. sort of dream away. Anyway, they're sold at the edition 94 and they are beautiful. Um, and the other one is Amanda Klutz, who is completely the opposite end of the spectrum, but she's a Broadway star and her husband contracted COVID-19 um, at the beginning of March and she has really spoken every day about her journey with him in intensive care and this woman is just oh so positive and so inspiring and just makes you want to live for today um, he sadly just died but oh she gosh. is just honestly for just she is she is amazing. I can't, I can't say how amazing she oh is. Gosh. Um, oh. Just, she really makes you want to get up and go mm. in the morning. Wow. I, I'd shout out for Kate Garraway. God, I have respect for exactly her. Exactly. Very similar situation. She's going through She's a hellish amazing. time. Um, mine are, my, my first one is called My Bump Pay, which if you are a woman pregnant, recently had a child, wanting to go back to work, you want to know what your rights are or you want a bit of support and motivation, it's brilliant. She is championing women getting back to work, workplace rights, and I think it's such an important cause. Mm. Got to support mothers, and um, I think it's brilliant what she's doing. I'm really hoping she might come on the show um, soon. Uh, also, James Van Der Beek. Does anyone follow him? No. <laughs> Do you remember James Van Der Beek? It's in Dawson's Creek. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. I heard you talking about God, him the other day. Him. He's got like a million children. children. Yeah. And they also really sadly um, had a very late miscarriage, which they've talked about very publicly, which I thought was amazing. He's been on Dancing with the Stars. 
I really, I got a bit obsessed with Royal Jews last week. Just thought I'd throw that one in there. Um, and probably should have taken that one out. No. Anyway, my final one is Alice Home, who um, sells antiques. So follow her if you're at all into antiques. And she'll suddenly post something amazing. And basically, it's the fastest fingers first. Yeah, you've got to be quick. You've got to be really quick. But there are some real gems. So if you're at <laughs> all interested in finding some, um, then beautiful. Get on it. Um, that's it. So lovely to have you. Thanks lovely for to coming. be here. Thank you for having me. Um, in just a moment, I am going to be back with Rini McDonald, founder of the beautiful clothing label Lisi to talk us through her favourite picks from the brand's summit collection. But first, Hannah Martin is back and this time she's showing us how to apply mascara the right way. I'm Hannah Martin and I'm back in my makeup room today to talk to you about mascara and how to get the most out of your lashes. But first things first, it all starts with curling your lashes. These are by Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. I also highly rate Tweezerman eyelash curlers. Now what you want to do is look slightly down into your mirror, take your curler, get them as close to the root of the lashes as possible, do a slight squeeze just to check you're not pinching anything, and then pulse gently. But let me turn to the side so you can see the hinge of my curler, this bit here, is not touching my cheek. You want to hold them at a slight angle so you get a better curl. Now let me come up to the camera a sec so you can see how much better or how much more open the eye looks already simply with a curled lash. So this is a step not to be missed when wanting to get the most out of your lashes. I'm going to use this Honest Mascara, which is um, vegan, of course, and cruelty free, because you get a lash primer as well as a mascara. So I'm gonna start by taking the lash primer, and I'm going to go through my lashes, starting at the center, making sure I then go into the inner corner of the lashes, and then onto the outer corner. So making sure you coat your lashes in this fibrous white mascara that essentially builds volume and length to your lashes before you apply the mascara itself. Once you've applied your lash primer, you can then go to the other end. I'm gonna pop the wand into the root of the lashes, wiggle it a little, and then pull directly up and I'm pulling directly up at this point because through the center of the eye is where I want my eyelashes to look their longest for maximum impact. Then in the inner corner of the eye, I'm gonna pull those smaller lashes in towards my nose and that's going to help create that fanned effect. And then when it comes to the outer corner, this is where we can pull out so that we get really good lash coverage across the entire eye. And of course, by winging it out at the side, it helps make your eyes look wider and longer and therefore bigger. Now, I've always loved mascara on my lower eyelashes too. And um, if you're worried about your eyes looking spidey, then just use caution, don't use quite so much. I find it helpful to turn my mascara on vertically and simply use the tip. It seems to help prevent smudging mascara along that lower lash line. If you're worried that it makes your lower lashes look too long, you can simply use your thumb and forefinger just to pinch a little bit of the product from the very tips to help them look a little bit shorter. So there we go, those are my top tips on how to get the very most out of your mascara. Thank you, Hannah. Now I'm here with Rini McDonald, founder of London-based fashion brand Lisu, which specialises in 
beautiful silk pieces with a twist. A former stylist, avid vintage collector and self-confessed bold dresser herself, Rooney has a unique way of combining unexpected colours and incredible prints to create the most standout pieces. Welcome Thank to you. the show, I'm Rini. so excited to be here. Oh, I can't even tell you. Well, we feel the same. We are such fans of oh. what you do. And I'm just looking at the rail and I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. It's a lot of colour. I'm clearly a maximalist. Really? I mean, I'm wearing, <laughs> I got dressed this morning and I thought, I need to wear, I can't go in in my standard colour palette oh. with really coming on the show. So anyway. Colour, colour, colour. Let's get started. You've, you've bought a selection of pieces. Yes. Um, we're going to start with the pastels. You're, yep. you're all about bright colours, but we're I starting am. with the sort of I am. more paired back. But this, yes, pieces. this season I sort of thought, do you know what? It's quite nice to offer a pastel alternative if mm -hmm. you're not such a bright girl. Yeah. And, and also you can kind of colour clash and do a pastel love, with a bright. Love um, orange and pink or yeah, yes, orange and I red. I do too. Best, orange and red it? is one of my favourites. Um, and just for context, you started the brand in 2018. Yes, we have just celebrated our second birthday, sadly, in lockdown. Oh. Um, but, you know, once it's all over, we'll party like crazy people. Right, we must, we must, we must. <laughs> um, so first of all, we've got the pink lily print shirt i yes. mean so pretty, this is pretty. the betty shirt the shape and basically the betty is our best-selling shirt and we do it every single season Sorry, in different prints um and the lovely thing about this shirt is that actually once you change the print it's a whole other yes shirt so we've got a lot of people will just keep buying this, yeah. this shape because it that. works when you find a shape that you yeah. love you want to be able to keep you buying want it's to such be a able shame. to yeah Totally. Beautiful. And again, you know, all our prints are actually hand drawn by me. Um, and Which, in some... if you don't know the fashion world and the print world, like, don't underestimate what a, yeah. what a big So it's a real is. exclusive, you know. Um, and we're a small brand, so we don't make volumes it's and volumes beautiful. of anything. It's beautiful. I adore that. Adore that shirt. Suits everyone yeah, as well. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, um, I mean, the next. So piece. this is the gorgeous. We've actually got the rainbow version as well. So this collection actually was rainbow supernova. So it's quite a lot of rainbows, weirdly considering that it's also the NHS symbol now yes. and I mean so bizarre yeah, people have said funny to like me that, isn't it? how did you know and I'm like well clearly I didn't know there was going to be a pandemic yes um, otherwise you'd be you'd be a very successful woman well you are yeah. anyway um so we've got the pink metallic this is the zigzag either skirt. skirt always a pocket because we girls need something to do with our hands we've got a mutual love yeah of pockets going if you're on, on your here, own waiting we? I mean you know you want a pocket it's just cool makes you feel a little bit more relaxed yeah. and really you know high-waisted so it cinches you in really nice kind of midi length which which suits everybody and if you don't I'm want to show your clothes, but I just your have legs. to feel oh it's just and then again lined everything is lined either in silk or a silk cotton mix I hope you can so. see watching how beautiful this it has sort of a is. little metallic um silver thread going through it which I don't know gentle neon green and stunning it's very so, clever so you could you know love Love. Gorgeous. Go for it. Okay. Oh, am um, I dropping things now already? No, no, we always do that. Don't you worry. Um, next, we've got, we've got a, is this a blouse? This is a dress? This is a dress. So this right. is our Penelope dress, which obviously you can pussy bow. Gorgeous. You can, I'm less of a pussy bow girl, so I just do yes. that, which yes. is really gorgeous. Or I just do it more like a tie. Yeah, lovely. I sort so, of really... You can do loads of different looks. And the other thing I wanted to show you was that how a print changes something. So same dress, same shape, but this is a rainbow version in yeah, a beautiful mango colour. But Stunning. I mean, you could still be both these people. Yeah. And wear... I mean, I probably couldn't. I think, uh, I mean, I your orange suit is just killer, do you I think? I disagree. Uh, literally, you've just put it up to your face and it looks fab. And yes. that actually, is a tone that works on blondes. They're stunning dresses, so, absolutely. The fabric is so beautiful, I love them. And I'm with you, I find the pussy bow quite sort of formal. Yeah. I like it a bit looser. Well, I have, having short hair, it's weird if I have too much going on oh, really? here, because I just look like a pinhead then. <laughs> okay. um, so what have we got so next? next? We know about this whole sort of pajama trend, and these are so cool. literally, you know, great for lockdown, like wearing pajamas. Can I hold that one? Absolutely. And they're high waisted. So you still have a waistband. So there's no excuse for that kind of elasticated waist. Mm. 
Being high waisters, what I love to do is travel in this. Mm. So I literally will get on a plane like that. And mm. then when I arrive at my destination, all I have to do is tuck it in and mm. it's smart mm. all Gorgeous. over again. I mean, it's just, I mean, look at me now. It's the kind of thing, you know, I want to live in. It's just comfy, you yeah. know. It's like having silk pyjamas on, which yeah. is glorious. Lovely, love, so easy to wear. So easy. And okay. then holiday-wise, I know we may not go on holiday, but hopefully the sun will come oh, out. Well, we've just, we've we said will. the other day, we had a guest on, and we said we've just got to wear those pieces. Yeah. Wear them in the city, wear them wherever you are, and yeah. make the most of that wardrobe, because otherwise it's too depressing. So you loved this, which is our jasmine dress. And actually, this is in a silk, Voile, which means it's a silk and cotton mix, and the voile really means that it's super lightweight, ah. um, and that's where you get that sheen from. Does it crease less? It's the silk. Um, yes, I think it probably does. I don't that's know. That's what that you is. Know. Voile yeah. is a mix of silk and cotton. Well, not always. Okay. Usually, voile is just cotton. But what it's saying, voile, is that you've got this wonderful, really, really sheer fabric. Yeah, it's almost a bit organza-like, isn't it? Yes, but not as stiff. Not as stiff. And then we'll, we the literally sheerness. will line it so that the bottom bit is completely transparent. And again, a pocket. So this has just landed. Um, and this is the same collection, sort of mini capsule really? high summer, really small, um, but with our hand-drawn love hearts. And it was really to celebrate the easing of lockdown, to kind of welcome back London, we love you. And happy clothes. Yeah. Yes. That's what you do. Happy I think you do clothes. such happy clothes. I love that shape. I love the bows on the shoulders. It's a really gorgeous, gorgeous well, dress, that one. Well, if you're sort of booby, this is quite good because you can adjust the top. Yes, true. So it works And for... you can fit a bra strap without anyone seeing, and I think, with you, yes. the bow, which is key. Because my no, no bra days are long behind <laughs> me. Um, um, then, I mean... You know, what's wrong with that? I'm kind Nothing of speechless at all. on this one. You it know, is... It's full drama. It's um, and it's, you know, again, these lovely love hearts. We try and kind of incorporate that in most collections because we're all about love. I mean, the jacket's 400 or so. The trousers are 335. I mean, it's not the cheapest seat you're going to buy in the world, but that is for life. Yeah. And that's what you're about, it's a isn't it? You are piece, about isn't slower. It? Yeah. You know, really as wonderful. a child, if I'd seen this in my mother's wardrobe, I'd have been like, I'm having that. I would too. It's mine. Well, sadly, and I can't wait sadly, till I grow that up. that kind of thing is not in my mother's wardrobe. A lot of, <laughs> lot of pastel pink parties, <laughs> right. which she looks great in, but not one of those. Yeah. It is so stunning. And again, so fully stunning. lined in, in silk foil. So it's lovely and thin, but again, it's really comfortable and breathable. It's the kind of piece Trini would own. She would only bring it out sort of once a year or once you know it's one of those pieces you don't you don't wear yeah. it loads in one go you no. just steady trickle it through but also lifetime. you could do this with jeans yeah and so you're really sort of getting three outfits together that separately and i love this with a t-shirt yeah so do i um and trainers like, just like on a, nice a yeah. in an it's mu it's easier to wear every day and then obviously in the evening you're like hello people amazing bam uh, <laughs> amazing please and tell me you're going to do something similar and do a twist on that and uh we have got a little exciting good. twist on that good. for autumn winter but it would be a shame if that it disappeared would. and this is again our eva signature skirt and this is the zigzag rainbow so this is the same as the pink which is the same as the pink but you're color. a little bit bolder here this is one of my favourite. Do you know how I want to wear this with a denim shirt? How cool would that look with yeah. a denim shirt? Well, and the heels. thing is, you've got all these colours. Mm. So actually, you can. there's a wide range for you to choose from. Or a white t-shirt and trainers. And it's, But it's not too stiff either, so you can no. wear it with trainers, because I think it looks quite it has stiff, structure. but when you feel it, it's yeah. not... It's just, and it's, again, gold thread running. So it's a little bit of shine. I beautiful. love a little bit of shine. I'm a bit... So kind of, do I. So do I. I'm that a, girl. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> So now, spectacular spring, summer 20, we always try and do kind of one show piece. And oh, this my is God. It for spring, summer 20. And it comes in a baby pink as well. But for me, it's, you know, red drama. I mean, we, we, I was saying the other day, we, we run, often run a feature on red dresses. It, and it's this corally, it matches my nails yeah. perfectly. It's this corally red, which whether you've got your skin colour or my skin colour, looks amazing on everybody. Yeah. And there's just something about this time of year and wearing that colour that is just so It's just so good. glamorous. You don't need anything else. You don't need jewellery. You don't need... You just need a fab heel. 
Oh, it to go is with that. perfect. And while we're talking about this colour, shout out for the stunning oh. dress. Those are my first words when I walked in. <laughs> is that on your site now? So this is it's on the site now. This beautiful. is the Stella, and it's um, a very, very, it's 100% silk, but a very sheer, um, lightweight silk. So it's transparent. And it's got so pockets. So we've lined it to there, so obviously you can wear it during the day. And it has pockets, and it has that slight kind of, Princessy. I'm obsessed with a floor skimmer at the moment. Do you know it's amazing? Obsessed it's with gorgeous. having something trailing I love just, behind me. Just wear that in the day, though. As I, well. well, this is. The, I yeah. did wear it when it was really hot yeah. and sunny. I had it on with just yeah. trainers or a little flat shoe. Mm -hmm. It's. Um, I yeah. did a parachute jump when I was a teenager. Yes, sort of, it like sort this. of reminds me of. That. And it's good because you can, you yeah. know, the way. food baby's covered. And I mean, maternity. Hello. Yeah. You hello. It's gorgeous. It just ticks it's gorgeous. all boxes. Right. We're going to finish with. Oh, a little uh, surprise, which a little is this autumn is winter. 20. And honestly, if I can't go out to a Christmas party, I will cry. I'll invite you over. And, if you could. And we'll have our own party. Yeah. And, and <laughs> we'll could. both wear that dress. So this absolute beauty is basically, you know, my inspired by Donna Summer, Studio 54, super, super glam. And I, I literally love... walked in and went, Studio 54. You do, you do. <laughs> and it, we're doing it in different colours as well. And what I love is you can make it oh, something clever. a bit, you could do one shoulder, you could do two shoulders. So there'll be, you know, that kind of effect, um, which again makes it a slightly different dress. And then if I can pass this to you to yes, hold. Yes, you can. I and I can you. hang on to it permanently are... if you like. <laughs> Every dress is going to come with this sort of snake effect is it? belt um, so that you can kind of wear it a little Ooh. bit more cinched in and with silver we've done gold because I love a silver gold Laura's combo. Laura's smiling over there <laughs> so much. Um, so if you want to cinch it in you can cinch it in. Can if you I'm want to wear it. I feel like this is this is what I should be wearing. At my it moment. makes you want to go to a party it does. like straight away doesn't it? With like a block wedge like chunky <sighs> Velvet I heel, I mean. I know. I'm, I literally, with my team, I mean, block, they, I mean. obviously we have madness in our office, in our studio. Um, when this came in, I had to kind of go. Shrieking, shrieking. Put it on, and then I had to burst through the doors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the madness of working oh, at Lisu really, headquarters. Really, yeah, well, I'm in awe. Jen, you know, I've not seen such a happy collection in... A Thank long time, you. and if you Thank like you. what you see, then Lee Sue is available online, and you also have a store online at leesu.co.uk. And we have a shop uh, on Westbourne Grove, Amazing. but it's by appointment only at the moment, obviously, okay. because of the current okay. situation. But you can get in touch on Instagram, Lee Sue London, or email us at info at leesu.co.uk. And we will give you an appointment. And, and you, you get to come sorry. and hang out with me for a bit. And you won't be sorry. And thank you. It's been You're so lovely. You're so welcome. You. Thank you so much for having us. I mean, Pleasure. you know, Pleasure. so come excited. Back. Come again. Oh, I'd love, to. I'd love uh, to. Oh, that was fun. Right, next up, I am going to be back with Laura talking more fashion. We're going to be looking at some really great mm. summer shoe heroes. It's such a gorgeous day outside. I'm going to wear a lovely dress. So I went with this dress. It's a Vita Kin dress. I've loved her dresses from day dot. Very lucky that we've got the garden. I mean, it's a communal garden, but we're lucky we've got the garden. Hey, Winty. And she's off. Just got them from the little flower store. The local one. Oh my gosh. As per usual, something's come up. My photographer is, I'm so excited about this, coming over to shoot something for me. Totally changed my mind. I'm gonna actually shoot a product in the white I came upstairs I'm whispering and I walk to the front of the living room and I see this guy and he's got my bike and he's trying to yank it off the railings I love eating outside it's such a luxury um when you live in London I just like I love it so much because my husband gonna let me take a very small oh my there. He came Now, when it comes to luxurious shoes on the high street, you really can't beat Russell and Bromley, a favourite of influencers and royalty alike. Their summer collection features classic essentials with an on-trend twist from strappy sandals to statement flats. And we have selected some of the best to show you. And a few bags. Um, 
rather a lot of shoes here, but we went through the edit before we went on and we were like, we don't want to get rid of any of those. It's good, isn't it? It's really good. It's good. It's a nice neutral colour palette too, I, know. I think. It is. It makes me very, very happy, very calm. Um, I love this first pair. These are a Bottega. Bottega inspired. inspired. Um, this is a mule. These are great. Great. Quilting seems to be everywhere this summer. Really nice and easy square toe. Yeah. Yeah, I think that you won't regret having those in your wardrobe, will you? And frankly, Bottega money, no thank you. Mm. These are 135 quid. That's super soft, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, and all ages, really chic. Mm. I think they're great. Yeah, very, very nice indeed. I would happily have a pair of those in my suitcase with all with one of those beautiful red dresses i love mm. that love that color i'm looking i'm looking now over at Rini and waving those <laughs> at her these would also look amazing with one of her dresses these are cool aren't they yeah they're really cool these are the bow well these are a bow flat aren't yeah they? they're quite statement it's quite a big bow but again i just think those will last you for years i can see laura wills looking fabulous exactly in these yeah with her killer legs Kill, killer legs but exactly. you know a nice bright red toe i mean i got it on my nails right now i think these are these are really nice these are what 125 or something but nice with dresses nice with shorts nice with jeans yeah i think they they'll kind of yeah, go nice with everything with jeans. Mm. nice with a crop slight wide leg yeah exactly very nice i mean the next pair uh, th these are these are probably my favourites. I'm I think. so into these. These Aren't are they a, so good. These are a studded flat form, 145 pounds. I freaking love these. Absolutely love them. Love the ankle strap. Love the gold stud. I mean, they're quite bling, but I think they just toughen up like a little pretty dress in the summer. I just think they're super cool. Oh, I think they're super cool too. I, I think those are the pick of the bunch. I'm not so good with all the, there's some really quite aggressive studded sandals mm. flying around the high street at the moment, which I'm not a fan of, but I think they've got it spot, spot on, on with those. That's super cool. Okay, next we have got which I think, with you, what you were just saying about jeans and a wide yeah. leg, that, they're cool, aren't they? They're cool. Again, you see those? They're, they're quite, they are quite full on, but I think, again, if you just want to toughen something up a little bit in the summer, I think they're really cool. It's a double buckle. You see, I'm not a massive fan of the Birkenstock double buckle. Yeah, thing. I, I wasn't, but I've been sucked I in. know you have. Lou's a big fan too. I, I like these though. They're a bit smarter. They're yeah, a bit they more are. appropriate. I think really nice with like a cigarette pant as well mm. and a shirt in the summer if you work somewhere quite formal. Exactly. I think they're cool. I like those. Um, next up, Shilak's a big, big fans of an espadrille wedge. I just and, think you can't go wrong. I mean, to me, these just say Kate Middleton. No, uh, well, I Not don't in a bad way. Yeah. I just, I, you know, I just think they're so staple to her. They, yeah, they are a staple. But I think they've got such a cool shape at the toe. They're yeah, kind, they I don't have. know if you can see. Can you see them? But really, I think that's so elegant and kind of takes away, you know, sometimes an, a, a wedge can feel a little bit clumpy, can't mm. it? But I think that just makes them feel I a little bit more elegant. I agree. I think they're very nice. Very nice. Very um, useful. I'm not, yeah, I don't love myself in an estrella. I feel like I'm so, I feel like I'm sort of towering. Tall. People, but anyway. Yeah. These, now, when we went into there, they've got a new flagship store, which is probably not very busy at the moment, but anyway. Go to their flagship store at Covent Garden, it's really good. When we went in, there was a press day and they had lots of influencers in there trying on shoes, and these were... I just think they are amazing. We'd all love a Chanel pair, right? Yeah, but, obviously. I mean, these are pretty good. But dupe. they are an amazing dupe and really soft, and the leather just looks, I think, yeah, I mean, amazing quality. I think they come in all black too, don't they? Oh, I'm not sure about that. No. But I'm, I'm into, into this kind of two colour way. Yeah, me too. Anyway, ignore me, maybe I've got that totally And wrong. you've got a similar shaped boot, haven't you, with the similar shaped toe. Yeah. Oh, it's so elegant. It's just the right toe. There's exactly. a thing. I can't quite put my finger on why. It's like that almond shape almost, doesn't it? Yes, it is. It's not too wide. No, they are a great Very bit. elegant. Um, and Charlotte styled them with some slightly looser jeans and a big oversized blazer. And I, it was very cool. It was very cool. Yeah, very Alexis cool. Warman, I think, had her eyes on it. Her eye exactly. on those too. Right, I'm going to hand over to you with the product. So next so, we have got... So some now we've got these... I thong sandals, thong I think Thong sandals with the, with the square toe again. I mean, very, very on season, this trend, but just so simple to have in your wardrobe. I think we'll go with everything. I love those. I think it's a really good height heel. Yeah, exactly. 
don't you? Yeah, but not too spindly either. God, they've I think got they've... it so right. I'm so they have, impressed. They? I think those are really cool, really cool. Um, I'm also loving these loafers. These are great, so aren't chic. they? So chic, such a great thing. I, I mean, you could just wear them with anything. Um, Sarah Corbett Winder has been wearing something similar. Oh, has she? Yeah, I can just see her exactly. in Exactly, and I, the raffia, it's just such a, a nice new take on a slipper, isn't it? With, to me, you want a cropped white linen trouser. I mean, or a white something linen a bit shirt wider. And jeans. Yeah, yeah, they're really cool. But they're like, really cool. You know, any age again, I think can wear those. Exactly. Love them. And likewise with these, I think for any age, I think we could not put those in. They're, they're my mother-in-law's favourite. I mean, she absolutely, she's worn them for years and swears by them. But I think somebody younger with some pale denim and oversized yeah. trench and a white shirt would look really cool yeah, in those. Yeah. Very Chanel. They are very um, Chanel. Love the quilting. Love those. Love them. And finally on the shoe front, you brought some trainers <gasps> in. I can't, I can't not. There's nothing. I, I love a simple white trainer. And I think these are just perfect. They are the, perfect. The toe shape, they're so simple. I love the tan. I don't know if you can see, but it's got tan and navy with the white. I just think. Is that navy? Yeah, it's navy at the back. They're really nice. Aren't they just, I think they are. That is the perfect trainer to me. That is the perfect trainer. I, I know. I love, I love how simple they are, but it's just so right, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Gog, what great shoes. Right, we're going to finish with some bags. So first up, we've got this. Um, Super simple, but this is going to, I mean, this the is... The camera bag. The camera bag, that's what it's called. Um, you just can't go wrong with that, yeah. can you? That's going to, summer, winter, perfect shape. I mean, the shape's been around for a one while nine now. Five. But one, exactly. You know, sensible price. And lovely leather, and it's got this lovely red trim on the zip. Yeah. I don't know if you can And lots see. of people are doing them, but I think, I think Ross and Bromley's custom services is so good. And, yeah. yeah, and it's not overly branded. I think that's what's so yeah. nice. Agreed. Um, I do, I mean, this, the next one there is so cute. Very cool, isn't it? Love it. Absolutely love it. And it's so soft. I know, with denim. Wait, can I? I yeah. That's, that that's, um, handle is just it's amazing. It's very cool. I think, again, with that trench and the, and the, and the pale denim. And designer bags, you know, I think Ross and Bromley are an amazing bag destination. Designer bags are just offensively expensive They are now. getting more and more. And that's £235. It's so chic. I think you'll have that for life. Timeless, exactly. Oh, Sorry, I, like um, I love it. Love it, love it. Uh, finally. Finally, a kind of modern take on the basket. Just brilliant, that. Isn't it? Yeah. Such lovely colours, I think. Super, super versatile for summer. So nice chic. with the white dress again. So chic, also chic. Um, I think I think they're doing such a good job. I don't think I don't think we give them enough love. Um, and what great! You keep nailing the product selection. Um, amazing. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Um, thank you to everyone. Thank you to Rini. Thank you to Ria. As usual, all the product mentioned in today's show will be linked in the show notes below. I'll be back on Tuesday. Uh, with uber cool stylist of the stars, Anna Bromelow, who will be taking us through her 10 essential picks for summer. And we'll also be doing my favourite segment, Brands to Know, where we talk you through some new names that we think you ought to know. Plus, Adam Byatt will be here with the next in his barbecue series in time for, hopefully, uh, another heat wave. Um, that's it for today. If you enjoyed that, then do please comment below, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.